been a while. We're back. Kind of. Yep. Uh, hmm. What are we doing? Well, I'm playing with this. And you're going to say, why? Looks nicer than it is. It's actually an excellent driver. It needs to be like 4.0 steel walled. So when I wiped it, I put little lines in it. But these things are like unheard of to get. These are the hatch hinges. Okay, that's not the one that was on the car. Years and years and years and years ago, when we used to swap meet this car, I broke one. Which is pretty common. Now that's a crap one. I could polish that all I want. This might have some lines and stuff on it, but it isn't that. Okay, here's the problem. I've been trying for years and years and years and years and years to get new ones. Now I can't find any. This is what I find. Forget about one that decent. Okay, and that one also already has a line in it. It's not cracked yet, but that's where it stresses. It stresses right in that area. But when you look on the back side, there's no cracks, no splits. This is an original one from the car. Okay. When this there's a left and a right. When this one broke, I know it says it on that. I don't remember it so long ago. There's a right. I bought a set of them and I replaced just the right one on the car. Package this one up, save that. Save these things. These are the things that go up into the roof. With this nut, that's what spreads the load when you tighten it. Or actually, to the back of the, uh, that goes on the hatch. Um, on the roof, it's just one bolt. Even though, no, that's backwards. That's backwards. There's one bolt through the hatch and the shorter part goes up on the roof. Yeah, that's the way it is. Well, I got this sealed now. That's right. It's a long, it, goes, it sits like this on the car. And they have the gas, you know, spring hatch pistons. And the way they angle them, it puts a big load on these. And what happened was, is the hatch barely stayed up. So I replaced one piston with uh, something from a Toyota. And it worked absolutely mint. It was perfect. I couldn't do both of them because I couldn't close the hatch. And that didn't help the flex situation. But I still have the two original AMC ones that'll barely hold it up. And I said to Junior, your best bet is to get a good set of hinges, put the original ones back on with the AMC written on them, and just get yourself a nice little pole that fits into the striker when you open it up. And the hinges will last forever. Okay? So, why are we making this video? Okay, it's complicated. One, they just posted on Facebook, one of the AMC guys is starting to make these things out of billet aluminum. And he's at the point now where he's made a prototype or a couple, whatever it is. And they're nice. They're not, this is pot metal. That's where the issue lies. They're reinforced. They're not pot metal. They're aluminum. And uh, right now they're like a satin finish. And he's looking for ways to chrome them or whatever he's going to do. I like them just the way they were, if I can get them. But it doesn't look like I can get them right now. So why are we focused in on this when we have so much to do? Well, we are taking the valance, and we're taking the hatch, and we're dropping it off to a friend to have it painted. So, the valance is no big deal. Valance was stripped, if you guys remember. Junior shot it. I mean, there's parts of it just up top here that had the original paint. But he stripped it front and back, or at least front, and shot it with self-hatching primer, and that's the way it laid. So... Obviously, I'm going to have him DA back, DA it back off and have him do what he has to do. The hatch, okay, the hatch was in ready for final sand. We blocked many times, okay, except for the inside. I never did anything with the inside. And the inside is painted. Um, what I want done is I want the backside or the inside of it sanded down and painted white. Okay, you don't really see it when the hatch is closed. I'm not really worried about it. But I just want it white, just like I want this back painted white. Um, and then the outside will be what it has to be. But I have to situate it on the car to take measurements. Is the white section dead centered on the car? Yeah. If it's off a quarter of an inch here, will you notice? No. If it's off a quarter inch in the back, you'll notice big time. So there's going to be, even if the hood does eventually make it on, there's going to be, Big distance 
So you could be off a little bit and not notice it. You can't be off that much, obviously. Um, Cause they're not right with each other. But in the back, it has to be as dead on as possible. So there's two possibilities. One, bring these, let him do what he has to do, back paint them both white. Okay. Me install them back on the car, drop them off the car, cause the, the shop's a town from here. And have them paint them right on the car. Or the other way around, it doesn't matter. So we'll decide. But I need hinges. So I remembered I had that box it was sitting under here. Let's grab it there. And I just got to go find the other hinges. And uh, we'll lock this stuff up. And this stuff will be on its way. It could be there as soon as Saturday. <coughs> Today's Thursday night. I just don't have enough time uh, to do this and make sure it's right in the back to have it to him for Saturday. So I'm going to see possibly Tuesday night after work. Just bring it right for work. And done. And then pick it up when it's done. And uh, that'll be a big leap forward because I'm not set up to paint. I'll never be set up to paint here. I'll be long gone before a paint come, gun comes out here. Um, so, and that's the, I need to get going because I can reassemble the whole front end. I could put, and I know I got other stuff to do, but I could, you now I can get my markers on because I got to run to Junior's house and grab something. And that's what, that's why we only have one marker on the car because the screws are at Junior's house. <laughs> so get the markers on, get the wiring complete in here. You know, it's all just laying there. I have the actual clips to hook everything to clean in here a little bit since I just wiped it with my finger it is getting a little dusty in there to say the least and uh with that you know I'm hoping I want everything done if there's one or two interior things that need to be tweaked Junior you could use this car and we can work on it at our leisure the car has to be going this year done and not late this year this year for the season so I do have a couple of irons all over the place and the different fires, but we'll do it. We'll definitely do it. So, I do like it with those tires. Um, only thing left mechanical-wise in the body is an alignment. That's done. A little bit of wiring, as we know. That's done. And some interior reassemble, meaning I think two of the windows have to go back in. I have to hunt down run channels. Um, I have the door gaskets. They should be good. And, uh, that's it. Just, you know, work. So, but this has been weighing on my mind because I can't do it. And I don't want to cruise in the car like this. Half done, half whatever. Um, so. Yeah. But the white is dead sending on the car and it is X amount wide. And, uh, I remember right it's narrow in the front and in the back we got to keep that in mind so it follows the roof line okay guys that's it i wanted to show you we are doing some things uh temperature's good it's 50 degrees today so that's not too bad got a million dollars worth of lug nuts and no wheels for them now here are the old gaskets I don't know if I don't think these were the old ones of this car. They might have been the ones that came with the hinges. But if you remember, we got new ones. They were bought for us. Um, so I'm gonna see what I have with this. If I can get two that are this decent, you know, I just live with it until further notice. What am I gonna do? There's nothing else I can do. I just really don't want to put something like this back on because if all I have is something in this condition. Uh, we got to think about stripping this chrome off the pot metal and giving it a polish and a clear. So speaking of that, I know it's dark here, it's warm over in here. Speaking of that, it might be covered. That's what, that's what we did right here. Remember, this is pot metal. We polished it. It's going to clear it for me. So, if that's what it comes down to, that's what I'll do. So. Okay, guys. I guess that's going to be it. And, uh, yeah, that's it. So, we're out of here.
let's get working on something.